Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about what if the prodigal keeps going back to the counterfeit every time after you see the changes you've been praying for. So here's the thing. Whenever you see your spouse, you know, keep running back to this counterfeit, however, you are seeing changes, you know, um, you know, in your spouse, it's just that they keep running back to this counterfeit. It simply means they are not done going through their process, okay? Because with a God ordained marriage, God's standards are for all of the counterfeits to be put away, okay? So if your spouse is refusing to put away the counterfeit, that simply means um, because it's a reason why God is allowing your spouse to keep that counterfeit there. So maybe it's, it's more revelation God wants to give to your spouse. Maybe, um, you know, you just never know what God is doing, but it simply means they are not done. They're not finished going through their process. Okay. Um, so don't allow the fact that your prodigal, you know, keep running back to this counterfeit. Don't allow that to discourage you. Um, God is showing you, you know, the evidence of your prayers are, are, you know, are being answered. You seeing the changes in your spouse. Um, it's just this stubborn spirit, you know, this unwilling spirit, um, is in the way. So, you know, just continue to pray, um, and continue to fast because number one, you want to make sure the very thing that's drawing your spouse back to this counterfeit, you want to make sure it's not a love spell. Okay. So it's not enough for us to just, you know, fast one time and break, you know, fast to break these love spells one time. No, you want to stay on this. You want to, you, you know, you want to turn fast into a lifestyle where you are fasting every month, you know, destroying these love spells, these separation spells. You want to destroy every attack that um, these counterfeits or the enemy is sending your way. Okay. You got to stay on this until God releases your spouse to you because soon as the counterfeits, the enemy begins to see that your spouse is coming back into their right mind and these spells are wearing off, they're going to just come right back, you know, behind them and attack them again. Okay. They're just going to seduce them back into, you know, lust, into, you know, fornication and, you know, attack them with that spell all over again. So this is why we continue to fast. This is why we fast every month. We break these, um, we destroy these love spells, these separation spells, you know, that the enemy is putting on the prodigal. And then another thing too, you want to make sure that you're not dealing with your spouse being up under blackmail. Because when the enemy see that all of their attempts, it isn't working and your spouse is coming back to their God ordained, then they're going to start to blackmail um, your spouse. Okay. So they might start telling your spouse, if you go back to your God ordained, I'm going to hurt or harm the individual. Right. And your spouse can really care about you. And so, and they can really fear, you know, that they, that they might do the very thing they threatened to do. So, um, make sure you're praying against all blackmail, you know, um, so that God can reveal to your spouse that God's power is more powerful than this blackmail coming from the enemy. And God's power can protect you, okay, from the enemy's threat, okay? But also, um, you know, because even if you're, you are seeing your, um, even if you are seeing some of your prayers being answered, in this, uh, in your spouse, you have to always ask yourself, but is this God's standards, right? Because you might, it might be other prayers that God may want you to, you know, begin to put on your spouse, right? Um, because we, because you want to begin to look for number one, is your spouse walking in their identity in Christ? That's number one. Do you see them growing in greater character? Are they, you know, um, becoming aware of their purpose? Are they stepping into their purpose? Are they walking in self-control and self-discipline? Do they know their worth? Or are they still getting their worth, you know, outside of themselves, from their material possession, from the amount of counterfeits that they can attract to them? Or, you know, whatever the case may be. But it's certain things you want to begin to look for because when you know what to look for in a God ordained marriage, then that would let you know whether or not this individual is ready to come back home to you. And then you got to turn their attention on you. Okay. Because again, that's great. You seeing these changes happening in your spouse, but what about you? How are you changing? 
Are you walking in your purpose? Do you know your identity in Christ? Are you growing in character? Are you taking the time to heal? You know, it's things that we have to, we like God is requiring for both spouses to be at a certain standard. We have work to do. Okay. We're not just praying and fasting. No, after you pray, after you fast, it's time to do the work. It's time to do the work. Time for us to look, you know, check our heart posture. Is the heart good? Okay, it's time for you to, you know, begin to look within. Do you know yourself as a man or woman, right? Are you, you know, drawn closer to the Lord? Okay, like we have more work to do. That's what I'm getting at here. So don't give up just because you see your spouse constantly going back to this counterfeit. It simply means, you know, um, there's, there's, they, he or she still, they're not finished going through their process. Okay, but know that a day is coming. When your spouse is going to wake up, because when they hit judgment season, God is going to humble them. When they, when your spouse begin to lose everything, when your spouse, okay, uh, when God humbles your spouse in the worst way that they didn't see coming, your spouse is going to quickly get the revelation that where the problem is coming at and what they need to put away. And then that's when they're going to put it away. That's when all that running stop. Okay. So don't give up. OK, don't get discouraged because you see your spouse going back to this counterfeit. You know, that's just a sign that, you know, progress is being made, but they're not done going through their process. OK, it's still more that God wants to reveal not only to your spouse, but also to you as well. There's still more that God, you know, uh, wants to do in both spouses. OK, so, um, you know, don't give up. OK, so with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.